Hey guys, today I'm going to give you another way that you can get clients for your marketing agency. If you caught my last video, I told you all about the lumpy package strategy to get clients for your marketing agency. And today I'm going to talk about a strategy that's called hyper organic. I didn't come up with this myself. I got this from Traffic and Funnels and probably they got it from somewhere else. But this is a pretty cool strategy that I think you guys are going to love. And it's a great way to get interested and qualified clients coming to you instead of you having to go to them. Okay, so let's get right into it. When I say hyper organic, uh, if you know in marketing, usually the term organic means that people are looking at your marketing materials on their own, right? You're not paying for it. You're not running ads or anything. So when people talk about organic, usually they're talking about having a blog or having a YouTube video, right? So if you're coming to me as a client from my YouTube video, this is an organic strategy. Or it could be from your Instagram or your Twitter or your Facebook Live, right? There's a whole bunch of ways to get organic traffic. Now, what hyper-organic means is that you're doing the same kind of strategy, except you're using paid ads to push it along a little bit, shall we say. So the way it works is that we're gonna start with an organic content piece such as a video, in, in my case, I'm gonna talk about a video, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it to people with ads. So normally when people talk about paid ads, you give an ad to somebody to say, hey, here's what I can do for you, give me a call or go to my website and sign up for the service, right? That's how an ad is normally structured, but what we're gonna do here is gonna give a pure content piece instead. We're gonna give a video that is pure content that's going to be helpful for them is kind of a free sample strategy and we are going to push it to people using ads. So if you don't have like a big YouTube following or a big blog following or a big Facebook following or whatever, I, this hyper organic strategy is a great way to get started. Now the first thing that you have to do is you have to come up with a content piece that's going to be interesting to the sort of people that you are reaching out to that's actually gonna be helpful to them. So for me, for example, my target market is dermatologists, estheticians, and plastic surgeons. So what I did is I, I recorded a video all about the five biggest mistakes that dermatologists, estheticians, and plastic surgeons make in their marketing. And I'm gonna show that as an ad. And I'm gonna say right at the beginning of the video that this is not a normal ad, this is gonna be free information that will help your business, that you don't have to click off, you don't have to sign up for anything to get it, and you certainly don't have to pay anything. So that gets people to continue watching, and if the information that I give them is good, then chances are they'll want more information, and they'll sign up for a call with me, or they'll go to the next step in my funnel. So I'll explain exactly how that works, but the first part is you want to create a video or you know, it could be a blog post or something that gives value before you ever ask for them to do anything. So let's set up a basic funnel structure for this. And if you're not familiar with the modern marketing lingo, a funnel just means the sales process that you put your prospects through. So let me show you the, the basic funnel. This will be, I'm gonna show you kind of three steps of how this funnel is gonna evolve. So like step one here is gonna be, you start with uh, the ad that I told you that's that's not really an ad, it's just information. So I call that an info ad. It's an ad because you put money on it. And then you, you pay to put that info ad in front, in front of people who are gonna be interested in it. So in my case, I'm gonna be putting it, I'm doing Facebook and YouTube. This will work on any ad platform, by the way. So I'm doing Facebook and YouTube. So I, I play my video to uh, dermatologists, estheticians, and plastic surgeons, because that's my target market. And then in the video, I tell them that if they like this information and they want more, they can apply to work with me. So from the information ad, I go to an application page where they fill out an application saying that they would like to work with me. And then once they fill out the application, in the application, I, I, well, I offer the application to get on a free call where I'll give them a free marketing plan. So from the application, uh, we get on a call. And then on the call, I'll build that free marketing plan for them. And I'll say, hey, by the way, if you would like me to implement this plan for you, 
so you can double, triple, quadruple your revenue, uh, then you can pay me to do it, right? That's where I start asking for money. So I make the sale on the call. So that's the super basic structure. And this uh, calling is pretty new for me. I have, have like zero experience selling over the phone. So I'm a little nervous about that. You know, when I'm recording YouTube videos, it's like if I mess up, uh, I can just throw out part and do it again. I mean, you'd be amazed. I, I'd record the same part like 15 times so I get it exactly right. I'm kind of a perfectionist about that. But when I'm calling one-on-one, -on -one, right, if I mess up, there's no do-overs, right? I'm stuck with it. I have to, I have to go on. So that's a little uh, nerve-wracking for me, but I'm going to get used to it. But anyway, enough about my insecurities. Uh, a few details about the info ad here. I told you I'm targeting towards dermatologists, and obviously you want to target towards whatever your target market happens to be, and you want it to be something that would be helpful to that target market. You want it to be something that they could implement today, and they would see results, and they'd say, oh wow, uh, that, that guy in the video really helped me, and he did it for free. I wonder what else he knows that he could help me with. That's the point of that. And if you're doing these on Facebook, where you get a choice of different optimizations, I like to optimize for video views because I want people to watch the entire video. And actually, I don't expect most of them to click on the ad in step one. I have some other tricks in store which I'm going to describe to you now. So, by the way, if you're enjoying this video, if you're finding it helpful, please do me a big favor. Hit the thumbs up button because it makes YouTube like me better. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos where I'll tell you step by step how I'm building my business and how you can follow along. <laughs> step two, after I've got this ad running, um, by the way, when you're looking at your analytics for if it's a video ad, Make sure that you look at the percentage of the video completed. You want to see how many people are actually watching the video. That's the most important statistic there. That's more important than how many people are, are actually clicking on the link in the ad. So once you have that part set up, step two is going to be a retargeting ad. Now, if you don't know what a retargeting ad is, retargeting just means that you are putting a second ad out to people who have already seen your first ad and already taken some action from that first ad or watched a certain percentage of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to retarget people who have either watched 25% of this ad or have, have clicked on this ad and, and gone to my application page but have not filled out the application because there's no point retargeting people who are already further along in the sales process. And in my retargeting ad, I came up with this yesterday, I think this is kind of clever, I'm going to talk about how retargeting ads work, right? Because I'm a marketing agency, I'm doing marketing for myself, but the same fancy retargeting concepts that I'm using for myself, I can also use for my client. So my retargeting ad, I'm going to talk about uh, why they're seeing this ad, how, how I created this campaign, and how it can benefit them in their own marketing campaigns that I can set up for them. So I've got the retargeting ad, and then that is going to go to the application. I'm going to put that directly to the application, right? So in this case, the person didn't click on the link before, didn't go to the application. I'm going to give them another chance. And you know, the research says that in order for people to buy a product or a service, usually they have to be exposed to it an average of seven times, right? So this is time number one. This is going to be time number two. And I can keep doing that as many times as I want. So the retargeting ad will go directly to the application, right? So that, that step is pretty simple. And then I'm going to do a third step. Here, I'll get take my book out of the way so we can see. Um, this is going to be a second retargeting ad. Call it RT ad 2. And then, so this is going to be for the people who saw the first retargeting ad, but didn't go to the application. So I haven't, I haven't figured out the messaging I'm going to use on this ad just yet, but I will get that figured out. And by the way, this is everything that I'm doing 
right now. So again, like this is a very unique opportunity to follow along with me as I am building my business and I'll tell you what works and what doesn't. Anyway, so I got my second retargeting ad to all the people that watched the first retargeting ad but didn't take action. And so instead of feeding them directly to the application to work with me, I'm gonna put an intermediate step. And so what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna have an opt-in page that gives them a free video. So they can go, if they click on the ad, they'll go to the opt-in page and the opt-in page will say, hey, do you want this free video? And I'm probably gonna use, I have a video called the Prospect Pyramid, which I'll put a link to in the description if you wanna check that out, which is all about four different levels of customers and how to reach out to all of them. So it's pretty useful for just about anybody who has a business. So uh, I'll say, okay, so you opt in here, give me your email address, and then I'll send you this free training. And so they go to the prospect pyramid video. And of course, if you wanna do this, you just record a video that's worthwhile to them. It's different information than you have here, but it's kind of the same idea. It's just information that's gonna be worthwhile to your audience. So when they go there, at the end of that video, it will invite them yet again back here to the application. And then also, since in the opt-in form, I got their email address, right? Then I'm gonna send some emails. Now I'll write three of them here, but I can send as many emails as I want to. So I send them emails and guess what? Every one of those emails is directed where? The application page. Same as before. Everything comes back here because that's where I get the call and on the call is where I make the sale. So this is a three step process that I got here and I could keep adding steps if I wanted to, but uh, you know, I don't know how complicated I wanna get. But just start with step one, you know, and, and see what kind of results you get. It could be that step one is all you ever need to do, right? It could be that you're already profitable at step one and you don't even need to go on to steps two and three. But I think steps two and three uh, will make you more profitable because if the person watched 25%, 50%, maybe they watched the whole ad, but they didn't take action, well, they're obviously interested, right? They obviously have an interest and what you have to teach, but maybe they just didn't have time. Maybe they just weren't in the situation. You know, if you're running on this on Facebook, people scroll on Facebook when they, when they have to wait for 30 seconds, right? Like they don't really intend to make a major business decision while they're there. So it really makes sense to run these retargeting ads, even if this is already performing pretty well by itself. So there you have it. That's the whole strategy. Feel free to take a screenshot of my whole whiteboard if that'll be helpful for you for reference in the future. And if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. I always like to hear your feedback so I know what to create in the future. And you might also find this video helpful, which is a demonstration uh, of how I create value for my clients. And your clients might be a different kind of clients than mine, but the idea of creating free value for them is gonna be just about the same. And of course, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe.